Alright guys, welcome back to another week at the Bone String Slaughterhouse. Sorry for the few weeks that I missed there. Um, between vacation, being sick, which I'm still getting over a little bit, and uh, getting a new setup for doing audio recording, I have been extremely busy and have not been able to find the time to shoot, so I apologize. But hopefully I've got all those things behind me now, um, and I'll be able to move forward with doing weekly videos again. So I want to take a second to give you a quick glance at my new audio recording rig. Uh, I picked up all of this stuff on Amazon for about 250 260 bucks. Um, found a few deals, that kind of thing. Uh, I'll hopefully be doing a full review of it here before too long so you can understand my thought process and why I chose the components I chose and what I hope to be doing with it. Um, also, uh, I found an awesome resource this week that uh, for learning. Uh, it's the Online Violin and Piano Tutor or online, I'm sorry, online piano and violin tutor. Uh, it's run by a woman named Alison Sparrow out of the UK. She does an awesome job. She, you can tell she has been an instructor for a very long time um, because I'm watching her videos and thinking, oh God, do that, dang it, man, I'm making that mistake. And I know exactly what she's talking about is she shows the technique that, you know, she sees her students doing that is incorrect and how to fix it. So that has been a hugely valuable resource. Thank you, Allison. You are helping me be a better player. Um, so if you haven't been there before, go check that out. Uh, she will make you a better violin player as well. All right, so for this week in practice, I've continued to do more scales, more scales, more scales. Um, so in building on last week, I'm not doing just the same scale over and over in a boring pattern. I'm trying to find new ways to challenge myself doing scales. So that's continuing to do multiple bow strokes or uh, multiple notes per bow stroke. Um, there's actually a proper name for this that I learned this week and it's slipping my mind right now. I'm also starting to do minor scales. Um, really right now that's only the D major scale or D minor scale. Um, but I'm hopefully going to start practicing more of those soon. Um, also working on doing a scale on a single, uh, a full octave on a single string. So instead of using two strings to get out a full octave of a scale, just staying on one string and moving my hand up further. I'm not very good at that yet, but um, working on it. So here's the, we'll do a few quick scales for you here, just so I can say I actually played a violin in this one. So uh, for an A major. that intonation. All right, let's try that again. All right, and then the full octave on one string. You can tell my intonation is still really off and that hand shift is very awkward for me, especially since I'm not using a shoulder rest right now, um, which is uh, a tip that I had heard from a few different sources, including on uh, the online piano and violin tutor, um, playing without a shoulder rest. The idea, I believe, is that you actually hold the violin a little bit lower, giving you a more natural bowing arm. Then some of those rests will actually have the violin up really high and then you're reaching further up and that bow actually you know, you, you get your arm kind of awkward, especially when you're reaching for the D and the E strings, or D and G strings. So, that scales this week. Also this week, uh, on the music theory side of things, I have been uh, trying to do a cover of Tim McMorris's Overwhelm. Um, it's an awesome song. My wife and I both love it. Uh, my anniversary is coming up in like a week and a half, and I was actually going to record myself playing the song for her. Um, although that's going a little awkwardly because I can't play it quite that well yet. Uh, it's, oddly enough, um, very similar notes to Faux, uh, Faux Tales. So Faux Tales, if you remember, was uh, E, sorry, E, uh, was that F sharp, and then B. It's the exact same thing, but in a different order. Both are essentially uh, an E major arpeggio. And um, so that, you know, that kind of helped me once I realized 
um, how the song was structured with Overwhelm. Um, you know, Tim McMorris actually puts the guitar chords that he's playing in the uh, notes of the video, as well as the fact that it's capoed up. So I transposed it down from the uh, capoed uh, notes to what the actual no, to the the capoed chord letters to the actual chords, um, and then copied it over to violin. So yeah, um, I was working on a few different bowing patterns to try and like mimic the. Uh, sort of tempo of the song, but I don't seem to have good enough bow control to really do that yet. Thinking what I'm going to do is actually just do a guitar cover with some violin backing, um, and then maybe sing. Well, so we'll see how that goes. And who knows, maybe if you're lucky or unlucky, depending on how you think of it, I might put a cover video of it up. Alright guys, that's it for this week. A little bit of a shorter video. Um, sorry for missing so many weeks in a row. I promise I'm going to get back at it and be more consistent with putting out videos for you, uh, as well as keeping up with my practice. Um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Also leave me comments below if you have any comments about my playing or uh, things that you would like to see, or if you'd like to see the audio setup that I'm putting together. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.